Hello everyone and welcome to this first segment of Sports Central. Hopefully this is going to be a little smoother than the opening. Hank Long, but longer than Neil Duncan. And great show. Coming I'm just today. sitting here enjoying it. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> this well, segment everybody brought... Everybody else out there, can he get that shoe out of his mouth? Yeah. Uh, well, this segment brought to us by the Holiday Inn Winter Haven. Uh, great partner, Desiree Chase, part of the TDC board as well. So we want to thank them. And uh, have a great show. And our special guest, uh, Four Headcock, that is going to talk to us about the Lake Mirror Auto Classic. And you've done a phenomenal job with this over the years. As and it usual, just keeps yeah. coming back and keep coming back. And, it, and it's grown over the years, and it's just a fantastic event. Well, thank you, Hank. This will be our 13th event. Wow. And it has grown. Uh, first year we had 100 cars. Last year we registered 600 cars. And the attendance is about 35,000 spectators in downtown Lakeland on Saturday. This year will be October the 20th. Wow. And um, how is it? How have you gotten it to grow so much? What's made it so, so popular that you've gone from 100 to 600 cars? Well, October's a great time to have any event in Central Florida. The weather's just ideal. But downtown Lakeland particularly is a, just a very attractive venue. Lake Mirror Park, which the Parks and Recreation Department refurbished to its original splendor back in 1998, I believe, is just an irresistible venue for an event like this so we can showcase these cars from all over the world and it's it's it, it's built itself it's kind of like the baseball deal you know you build it they will come right yeah and it's a venue like you said just absolutely gorgeous and and it's a nice backdrop for this because you have these classic cars and all this but uh it's a, probably a, a scene that we take for granted living here all the time but i know our visitors come in and they absolutely love it well that's that's absolutely right you know i, I, I my business is in downtown lakeland i take it for granted but i get so many accolades from visitors that are here for the first time that see downtown Lakeland, they don't realize what a jewel it is. Right. And a lot of folks are, you know, been going up and down Interstate Four for years, and they never stopped off in downtown Lakeland, or they're here from out of state, and they just rave about it. It's, it's to others, it really is impressive. Well, we just got done. I just left a presentation by Judy Randall, who is a consultant that came in to take a look at what we were doing in the county and how things are going since she was here in 2003 and she raved about Lakeland yes. and what a beautiful city it is and the shopping and the restaurants and being in there on the lake so it's definitely a fantastic backdrop for this event. Well let me tell you about our show this year. The, you know, we call it the Lake Mirror Classic Auto Festival uh, and it truly has become a festival over the years. Originally it was somewhat limited as far as the offering, but we have a lot of things going on from Friday night all the way through to Sunday. And Friday night, which is October the 19th, we open with what's known as the Budweiser Hot Rod Rendezvous. And it's a night where we have an outdoor concert at Lake Mirror Park. We put about 100 hot rods around the lake. And this wow. year we've added a new dimension, and that is the Mid-Florida Credit Union is sponsoring a new car show. And so all the Lakeland area auto dealers will be displaying new model cars on Friday night. So that opening event on Friday night, which generally will attract eight or 10,000 people, it's gonna be huge. Wow, so you're really kicking off with a bang. Of course, yeah. uh, having the, the concert there always is a great thing. Music and cars is a fun combination. Well, we, we have Junior and the MDs have been playing for us now for about 10 years out of Lake Wales, and they're very popular locally, big following, uh -huh. and they just, they, everybody gets rock and rolling. And when the band takes their break at 8 o'clock, we fire up the hot rods. We call that the hot rod rumble. And this year we're bringing in a 1964 NHRA top fuel dragster with over 2,000 horsepower. We're going to fire that bad boy up. Wow. wow. And we'll hear the windows rattle. You'll hear it over here in Bartow. You'll hear it in Bartow, <laughs> believe me. Oh, my God. Well, and you also have Brian Redman coming in, and he is very popular in, in the, the world of, of cars. and. Well, yes, Brian Redman is an internationally known sports car racer. Mm -hmm. Sports car racing is... Uh, 
where I grew up in Sebring uh, as an international sports car venue, uh, Brian is very well known. He won the 12 hours of Sebring twice. He won the 24 hours of Daytona three times. He's raced all over the world. He's raced for all the major race teams, Ferrari, Porsche, uh, Lotus, um, and uh, Chaparral. And so Brian's uh, history, particularly his, his peak of racing was late 60s and early 70s. He raced Formula One, he raced sports cars internationally, and he's very well known in the sports car world. It may not be a NASCAR element, but, uh, you know, right. I, I certainly know who he is. And a great I think history to share with the folks yeah. at the show. And he's going to speak at noon on the 20th, correct? We do. We, we've evolved the event so that at lunchtime on Saturday mm -hmm. at the amphitheater at Lake Mirror Park, we interview our guest of honor over lunch. And so the, the Terrace Hotel brings down a nice lunch setting and put it out for the MC and the guests of honor, and they have lunch and they, they talk about his career, and it's a fascinating story. And Brian's a great speaker, and he can be very entertaining. And then uh, that same day later, you have a boat parade. Well, we have classic wooden boats, uh, mm -hmm. Chris Crafts, and uh, a variety of early vintage boats from the 50s and 60s that are in Lake Mirror Park. And uh, additionally, we have classic motorcycles, and all of these are kind of adding to the car show. Around Lake Mirror Park on Saturday is the judged portion of the show known as the Concours d'Elegance, which in French means contest of elegance. And so the, we have about 100 cars that will be judged by national judges uh, on a point system, and they will receive the, the big trophies. And then downtown, going on at the same time on Saturday, we have other things. We have a collector car auction which Marty Higginbotham, who's uh -huh. well known locally as an, as an auctioneer, his company will conduct our collector car auction at Lake Mirror Park on Saturday morning starting at 10 a.m. The nice thing about that is you can be a bidder for that auction for, for free. All you have to do is register when you get there. But uh, we'll have the open car show going downtown, we'll have the collector car auction, we'll have the Concord Elegance, we'll have the boats, the motorcycles, and we even have a, a vintage fashion show because it, it's very appropriate for a lot of these folks with the old cars to dress yeah. in period clothing. and they, So we've now got a team very of judges cool. that will judge the fashion show. Now, Go ahead. Oh, no. Well, I was just going to say, what kind of cost are we looking? What kind of price range are you looking at some of these cars? Well, the car, when you said cost, my first mind went to, what does it cost to get in the show? It doesn't cost anything. Yeah, it's a free this event This is a free everybody. community event, and, I, and that's due to the just the outpouring of support we have in the Lakeland community uh -huh. from the city, the Parks Department, and our local sponsors allow this event to happen for no cost to the public. The uh, Now the cars, on the other hand, can be in the millions of dollars. Oh my uh, gosh. Uh, matter of fact, this just recently uh, at Monterey, California, one of the four GT40s sold for $11 million. And we've had a number of four GT40s in our show Now, what before. is the GT40? What kind of car well, is Well, when that? I was a kid in the mid-60s growing up in Sebring, Ford built purpose-built race cars to go after the International World Championship in sports car racing. And they defeated Ferrari in 1966 with a Ford GT. And it was a purpose-built two-seat uh, envelope-bodied sports car that raced at Le Mans, at Sebring, and Daytona and other international tracks, and it was the car that won the world championship for Ford and uh, beat Ferrari, and that was big news. And so mm -hmm. those cars in the collector car world are at the at the pinnacle of, of the price curve. Oh my and, gosh. Uh, you take personal checks? Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 but uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll have Rolls Royces, Mercedes, uh, Auburns, Cords, uh, all the classics will be here, and uh, it's not uncommon to see these cars you know, not a lot of them trade regularly, but when you follow the national auction circuit, you see comparables of these cars going in the multi-millions of dollars. Now, is these, are these the kind of cars that Jay Leno is a fan of, yeah. that you'll find yeah, him absolutely. at these kind of auctions? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and, I'm, you know, Jay's the kind of guy that you never know. He might drop in on a show like this one of these days. With 11 right, million right in right cash. Right here on PGTV. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah, right. wow. What is the road tour and the brunch? That, that, that wraps things up on Sunday, correct? Well, on Sunday, we have a number of the, uh, of the car owners that stay overnight on Saturday uh -huh. for the road tour on Sunday. And it's a, we, we generally cover about a 50-mile tour out through Polk County. Uh -huh. And every year, it's a new route. Sometimes we'll go up through the Green Swamp. Sometimes we'll go south out through the phosphate lands and kind of loop back to a location where we'll have a, a, a brunch, if you will, late morning 
lunch and uh, give out prizes because the road tour has some contest elements to it that uh -huh. you can win prizes and it's a lot of fun. But we'll probably have 75 cars in the road tour and that'll depart on Sunday morning from the Peggy Brown building at Lake Mirror Park. Now if I'm not mistaken, you guys stopped in at the Lake Myrtle Sports Park last year, we is that did. correct? We okay. sure did. That's where the brunch was? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, the, the Florida Sports Hall of Fame. We did. That, our, that our was building. our destination last year. We move it yeah. around. This year it'll be the Circle B Bar Ranch. Oh, fantastic. Is where we'll conclude oh, our road tour. That's a great place to go. And I, Another I, great setting and for while cars. While I just leaked yeah. that out, it, it will be a secret to anybody that's not watching because we don't generally don't tell the participants where we're ending up. We'll go ahead and cut the feed now. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, they're from. You know, a lot of them are going to be from out of the area. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Ford, where do they come from? How far away? And You know, I'd say uh, 80, 85 percent of these cars are between Tampa, Orlando, and Central Florida. Wow. But we do have uh, 15 percent or so that come, we have a large contingent that come out of South Florida and North Florida, and probably 5 or to 10 percent of the cars are from out of state. We have a, a wonderful car coming from Denver, Colorado this year known as the Fascination. It was, it's a unique uh, experimental style car that was built in the early 70s. Very, really interesting vehicle. Now, do, they, do they drive it here or do they ship it here? No, they'll, or they'll pull be, it? They'll trailer. Bring, trailer. It on, bring it in on a trailer. Okay, they don't, yeah, you don't yeah. want to drive those around too much. Yeah, not, not too much, but uh, we have a lot of trailers come in. We'll probably have you know, 150 of these cars or so be delivered by, by trailer of some form. Mm. Unbelievable. Now for the folks that want to come, that um, what are, where are some of the easier places for them to park that makes it easy for well, them I, to Well, you know, the obviously the, the most immediate parking, the downtown parking garages, fill up quickly. Uh -huh. But because Lakeland downtown is surrounded by businesses and churches and schools, there are a lot of parking opportunities surrounding downtown. And just making a, a little exploratory lap around downtown, you can generally find parking fairly convenient. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Is there a website people can go to There's, to get more sure information is. that we just uh, talked about? Sure is. Our, our website is lakemirrorclassic.com. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, Lake Mirror, uh, like you're looking at a mirror, uh, classic.com. Okay, fantastic. Well, this is a, another grant. And how long does it take you to get prepared for this? Because, boy, with the lineup you've got here. It, well, I have news this morning, Hank. We just confirmed this morning that our guest of honor for next year will be Wayne Cherry. Now that's not a household name either, but Wayne is, the, was the, is retired from General Motors where he served as the senior design vice president for General Motors. Wow. He was responsible for all the new Cadillac changes that took place in the last decade where they went to the more edgy look. Mm -hmm. That was all Wayne Cherry's uh, creation. Wow. He was responsible for the Chevy SSR, the, the new model Camaros, and a lot of the cars that came out under his tenure you know, are going to be iconic automobiles, and uh, Wayne's a great spokesperson. He's real. He's going to be different than having a race car driver. Now we'll have a designer. Fascinating. So when we talk at lunch, we'll be talking to a designer who's been responsible for big things. Incredible. Okay. Well, Ford, thank you so much for joining us. And once again, the dates of the event. October 19th and 20th are the show, and October 21st is the road tour. But the show... The main show is Saturday, October the 20th in downtown Lakeland. Well, thank you so much for joining us again as you do every year. Great to have you on Great. the show. Thank, thank you, you Hank and Neil. Mm -hmm. You're welcome.